Okay, today is May 12, 2021, and here is the next update to the Pepper series. So in this arrow garden, I have a cross made by one member of the Pepper Lovers community. This is the Fire Blast. And um, looking great. Everything is growing well for this one here. Um, I also have this here. This is one of my crosses. And uh, I just placed this one in there yesterday. You see the system is also charging my watch. This is a solar, <laughs> solar power watch, so uh, it, it's perfect for that purpose. And then here's a pepper in the can. Uh, this one's doing great as well. So those are the three plants that I have indoors right now. So let's go outside and I'll show you the rest. Okay, here are some of the seedlings that I have not moved anywhere yet. Uh, the weather has been ridiculous here in Texas. Even this week, we have temperatures down into the high 50s. So today, uh, this morning, it was 56 degrees Fahrenheit. It was pretty cold. So yesterday, same thing, and it's been raining like crazy. So it's very unusual for May, because May, you know, we should already get like really hot weather. And by this time, I should already have peppers that are about to produce fruits. But this year, they're a bit behind and also we had hail one week and the hail damaged a lot of um, the leaves you see here so a bunch of uh, pepper plants the leaves were damaged by hail but wow look at these without anything that i've done to these i mean they just sit in here uh, they get rain water <laughs> and then uh, i don't even water this very often because the rain take care of the the, the stuff for me but yeah, these are the, the baby plants that you saw in the last video. They're still the same and they're just now starting to grow because it's getting a little warmer. And here I have some chocolate star scream. I have four of them over there. And then the little ones are the, uh, the, the volunteers. Those are star scream red from last year. I might just pull those out. This one here is all um, volunteer from last year. Those are also the star scream red. And I think that one is also a volunteer. This one here, this is the uh, Star Scream crossed with a Linzo. Look at that, guys! This one, this one's looking great. Uh, I think, um, uh, yeah, I topped this plant because it started to push out flowers, and I didn't want it to produce flowers too early. So I, I pinched the top a little bit, and then it's starting to grow on the sides. And uh, many people always ask if if topping is a good idea. Uh, under good circumstances, topping is not too much of a good idea because it does set the plant back. But for me, I need to set them back because I didn't want a plant this size to produce fruit already because then it'll slow down growing. So I pinched the tip off and you see now it, it's, it's growing wider. And so here are some more. These are the ones that I added later. And this year, I'm doing something a little different with these large containers. So I have um, this little um, compost uh, bin here in the middle. And I have been throwing a bunch of uh, like, you know, leftover stuff that we use or like stuff in the garden that I pull out, uh, grass and stuff like that. And a little bit worm casting sometimes every once in a while when I want to feed them. So basically, this is a compost bin. And that's how I feed the plant for now. So uh, what I usually do is I'll put all of the the, the cuttings or uh, leaves or uh, plants that I pull out of the garden or stuff that I uh, banana peel and all that stuff. I stuff it all in there. And all you have to do is grab a little bit of uh, soil and put it on top. And if it's moistened a little bit, it slowly will break down. And so you see here, these are the stuff that have been broken down. And uh, that's what I use to feed my plant for now. Okay, and here are some plants in containers. And I'm supposed to move these around, but I think this may be a spot for them. You see all the rain that we have gotten. You know, see the, the soil has been uh, leaking out. And it causes all of these lines right here. But um, yeah, they're not doing very well because it's just too wet, too cold not much growth on these yet but uh once it gets warmer it will have uh, a lot more progress so same thing with here you see that those are my compost bins so i've been throwing stuff in there 
and you see these are already flowering you see that and here is the uh, the one I started inside this plant is ridiculous guys look at this see all these thorns or like these hooks and they all have them look at this pretty interesting and uh, pretty nice variety so I already have red pods here so I'm gonna collect seeds and grow the next season very soon I just love the way they uh, they produce these stinger on all of the pods and the colors are pretty cool too they just look pretty bad right now because of the cold conditions and the and the rain it's just drowning these guys you see these very cool stingers I need to do a review on this oh look at that ladybug larvae those guys are really cool to have around because they eat all the aphids and they do eat a lot of aphids they eat more than the regular ladybugs because they're they need to grow and here's some um, chocolate pots that are ready and here's my contest plant it looks pretty sad this is a palbano I'm I'm entering the contest with uh, chili chump some more of my compost you see how the compost breaks down and and the broken down soil goes down there and it feeds the plant from the bottom so again I just uh, like say I have weed or whatever just throw it in there or like see I pick stuff like that or anything like that just throw it in there and it'll slowly break down and feed the plant and here is a few other varieties I forgot I think this is the Lingria cross right here I have three of them they're looking great and again you see that there's a little bit of soil on top and then a bunch of the uh, like lettuces that I've been growing in the garden that they're too old now so I put them all in there put a little bit of soil on top and then uh, the worms will eventually make it through and, and not, sometimes not just worms but other uh, flies and stuff like that it helps break everything down and it, it feeds the plant and uh, I haven't fertilized these guys yet and that's all I've been doing so um, I think it's working well okay and here is uh, chocolate star scream crossed with the lingria and I did a review on this already and after I did the review I chopped the plant down if you go back to the last video this guy was tiny it's starting to grow back now uh, same as that guy over there starting to grow back when, once the weather warm up these are going to take off really fast and same same with these here look at you see these are all so small and already producing and uh, I'm just going to leave it and I have a habanero. Look at this. These are from uh, the roly polies or the pills bugs or whatever. They keep eating all my leaves. Same with here. These are the habanero. And you see, yeah, like these here. So when I harvest uh, like Chinese cabbages or uh, any other lettuce plants, these are the remains that I don't use. And that's what I put in the compost, uh, the bin that I showed you earlier. I just uh, usually tear this down a little bit or just stuff it in there if you can fit it in and those would be broken down and here's the Thai pepper that I bought from Lowe's and it's already producing pods you see so uh, sometimes it's not a bad idea to buy a plant because <laughs> then you have those uh, already started early and they will produce much faster and here is my lemon starburst the one I'm trying to grow for the contest and it's looking pretty sad you see how yellow the leaves are and that's because there is just too much water from the rain so it should be fine uh, once uh, the, the soil dries up a little bit and then again I have another compost bin here that I made out of a plastic bottle so I just basically cut the top so that it can open like this and you want to close it like this that way stuff can't get in there so you see I put um, like those uh, cabbages leaves in here and then uh, you see the pills bugs and all these other bugs the worm they'll, they'll slowly break it down you see just put a little bit of soil on top and it will break down really nicely you see that right there that's why these guys are eating my, my stuff so they eat those holes get away yeah, so uh, <laughs> that's, that's what's been happening. These guys keep chewing all the leaves. That's why sometimes you have to wait 
uh, for the plants to get larger before you transplant because of that reason you see they, they they'll eat the young leaves if the plants are small then they'll chew the entire plant and then that that would be it for the plant okay and I have my white tie here and over there I always have to grow like a bunch of white tie I have a about 10 more plants that I just started so I should take those outside uh, pretty soon and just a sneak peek uh, if you guys watched the uh, video of the MTN go grow station that I grew the hundred and thousand tomato I actually moved it outside and here it is so this look, look at all those flowers guys it's just ridiculous you see that all those little yellow things are flowers there's just more flowers than there are leaves they're basically the entire plant it, it, it's flowers <laughs> The, it's looking really nice so uh, yeah if you watched my latest video um, on this plant here it is right here it's been outside for like a few days now okay so lastly we have a few uh, plants that I just put out here because I started these guys in my air garden just for fun as extra plants and these one this one here is just the, the normal lingria that that came from a, a small cup and I wanted fruit for those first and once I got the fruit to get the seeds out of I took it outside so uh, it came from hydroponic or the mini hydroponic and here's some other ones so you see there's really not much happening with my pepper plants they're really small a bunch of them are being eaten by pills bugs or uh, you know those roly-poly so make sure you watch for those guys there's there's an easy way to get rid of them but I really don't want to get rid of them because they are decomposer they they'll eat small organic stuff and break it down for me so I, I usually don't um, treat them I just leave them alone sometimes if you have a, an extra uh, or a bunch of extra um, plants or leaves or whatever that you don't use you put it into a pile near your plants and they will go to the pile instead of your plant. So uh, as soon as long as they have stuff to eat, they they try to they they usually avoid uh, your young plants. And not always, but for the most part, they that will work. Okay, so that's basically the update for uh, my pepper plants for now. And you see, my garden, I still need to clear them out. I still need to clear these out uh, to put peppers because these are these are cool weather plants. So um, those will be gone, all the radishes and uh, perpetual spinach, those will become uh, spots for my peppers and some over here as well. I'm going to put some peppers over there and there will be some here, maybe one or two and you see those comfrey, I've been cutting a bunch of those comfrey leaves and that one goes into my compost um, bin as well. These are great. They grow super fast. Like I mean literally three days and you get like enormous leaves like that right there. Like this. And you can cut a few of these leaves, shred them up into small pieces and put them into that compost bin that I mentioned earlier. And every few days I cut these because that's how fast they grow. They grow crazy fast that's that's the beauty about uh, comfrey and they also produce these beautiful flowers here which attract a lot of bees bumblebees really love these and also regular honeybees so they're good for your um, your peppers and your other stuff as well and I have a few extra here you see these peppers here they're extra and you see that the pills bugs are eating them here so they usually eat the, the bottom leaves sometimes they even crawl up to the the higher leaves so if you have see these leaves like this put them in a pile and they will avoid that they'll go to this and here i have another bed that i need to to uh, get rid of for my peppers and i actually have a few volunteers i think these are all sugar rush these are all sugar rush right here and this is a, I think this might be a Serrano, uh, maybe, or a Poblano, maybe, <laughs> one of them. But I know those are Sugar Rush, they're volunteers. And then here are all of my radishes. I will have to clear some of these out as well for uh, peppers. But the radishes are really cool, guys. You see, look at this e enormous bulb right here. That's a purple daikon. They get really big. 
and this is the Korean radish for making kimchi so I'll make some room but I'll keep the radishes until they're ready see that beautiful oh there it is that's my ghost pepper plant that I bought from Home Depot and you see that little one right there is have been eaten up by the the pills bug and that one's okay <laughs> the, the bugs are, are, have been a really problem this year but it's okay I have a lot of extra plants and then here I need to clear these as well you see all of this this these are all gonna be peppers those are cilantro man I've been eating cilantro like uh, since December and uh, yep all these will be uh, for peppers that's pretty much it guys uh, this is just a quick update but also showing you a little bit around the garden these are radishes right here I eat the pods right here <laughs> I'm just jumping all over the place but anyway that that's pretty much it um, in the next update you're going to see much more uh, plants being transplanted and maybe some tips along the way when I do that but today is just uh, you know just a small update to show you the status of the plants and and that's it so thank you so much for watching please like comment and subscribe